Tamping. Some of the biggest problems I come across in tamping is because people are just overcomplicating it. They're putting too much value on tamping. Tamping is very, very simple. The aim is to take the tamper, press, hard enough to press out the air pockets, and then leave a flat, even surface. They're the aims of tamping. The biggest mistakes I come across is that some people uh, act like a gorilla and they want to tamp as hard as possible. Now, one, that's not effective and doesn't affect anything apart from it's likely to damage your wrist. And there's a chance that if you go in hard, you will not be going in flat. And when you correct yourself, it will change the density inside the coffee bed and you will not get consistent flow from shot to shot. Also, people who tend to go in hard will also come out quick. And when you come out, come out nice and gently. That way, there's less chance of suction. So if you come out quickly, it could lift up the coffee puck. Yep. Once you've tamped, it should be fine. There's no real reason to tamp once and then to tamp twice. Some people I've seen even tamp three times. It's extra strain on your wrist and it's just wasting time. The twist, I'm not sure. I do it, I tamp and then I twist. I don't know why I do it. It might feel as though it helps me to check that it's level and straight, but I, I don't think so. I think I'm just uh, wasting some of the customer's time. I check to make sure it is flat and level because I know that I'm thumb heavy. I know this from competition where we were checking my tamp all the time. So now every like three or four coffees I make, I just give it a little quick check to see if I'm on target. Then we're done. Quick wipe, wipe, and insert. There's tamping. It's not very complicated. Mm -hmm.